rest out for the day. Uh, I'm going to spend some time out here, get a little bit of rest, have a nice lunch, and I brought some equipment to test out, so stay tuned. Okay guys, here it is. The German Army sleeping mat, and it folds down to dimensions of about 14 and a half long, 10 wide, and about an inch and a half, maybe a little bit more, inch and three quarters thick. And as you can see, if you have a backpack that has a kangaroo style pouch, fits right in and doesn't actually take any room inside the pack. Okay folks, so here it is. Fold it up, and to unfold it, you simply just let it drop, open it up, and now you've got a mat 74 by 21 long, or uh, wide, sorry. Um, weighs in about 700 grams, which is not too bad. And I don't know what material it's made out of. Seems to be pretty durable. Um, it's like a rubberized foam or some kind of plastic or something, but it does seem to be relatively durable. So uh, let's lay down on it and see what it looks like. Just want to show you what it would look like with me on it. So there you have it. It's just covers me. Uh, my elbows hang off the edge a little bit, but I'm a bigger guy. It may not be a problem for you. And uh, so far, I don't feel any ice or snow from the ground coming through. Um, though I don't know if this would be uh, an ideal mat for, uh, for totally freezing temperatures. So uh, anyway, so far, so good. Okay, just as I was setting up here, it kind of dawned on me that this would be, along with a pretty good kneeling mat, a good area to kind of lay out your gear. Uh, as I'm kind of getting my base camp set up here, just laying out all my gear. And it keeps all the snow and the grime off. It keeps it all organized. I hate leaving stuff on the ground. First of all, you lose it. Second of all, it rusts or gets grime on it. So I think it's, uh, it's another pretty good use for it. So one idea I had for this mat, because it's so flexible, is if I could use it in the uh, hammock. And first thing I could think of is, you know, sometimes I just like to sit out here and sit down. Did not actually lay in the hammock. Okay. But then you feel that the uh, the wind is kind of cold on your back. So it looks like this kind of conforms nicely to the shape of the hammock. And now I could lay out here and you know won't be bothered by uh, any cold wind underneath me. Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm going to also try it sideways and see how that works. All right, so got the mat in here sideways. See, it fits pretty well. And there you have it. You see the mat comes to here. So it wraps my shoulders and my feet. Just a perfect length for me actually. I'm six feet long and it just seems to fit perfectly. Uh, my elbow's a little bit off, so you may have to improvise with that. Um, it seems to cover my torso, my body, it's just my elbows that are gonna be a bit of a problem here. Seems like even my shoulders are covered, which is good. So yeah, I think it'll work. Just gonna give you my final thoughts on this uh, mat. I'll give you some of the pros and cons. Start with the pros, number one, really inexpensive um, now I don't know if these are made new anymore I got this one used off of eBay and it ended up being I don't know 21 or 22 dollars shipped to my door uh, this one is used it had a couple tiny little nicks in it but nothing uh, nothing serious and it doesn't affect the operation at all another pro is that it's uh, it's easy to use you just take it out of your pack and you kind of let it unfold and you use it good to go um, and of course, another thing is that it's very durable that, uh, in that, you know, even if it does poke a hole in it by accident, it doesn't really affect the operation. So, uh, you know, an air mattress, you would, you would need to patch that up before, before using it. So now uh, some of, uh, oh, one more pro, I guess it's very versatile. You can use it for a sit pad, for laying down, for laying out your equipment. Um, and, uh, you know, also the way it could fit into a kangaroo pouch of, of a backpack. If you have one, that's a definite bonus so that it won't take any room in your backpack. Um, actually, I think that this actually came with a German Army backpack, and this was kind of the back um, that added some rigidity to the pack. I don't remember what that one's called. If you know, put it down in the comments. Um, but yeah, all in all, um, definitely a lot of pros to this. Now, some of the cons, 
Number one, it's very thin. Uh, being in that it's you know one quarter inch foam, not very comfortable. I did sleep one night on this uh, at home, and uh, you know it was oh boy, it was not comfortable at all. Um, it doesn't provide too much uh, too much padding. I ended up putting a blanket under it to give a little more uh, padding. Um, so I would actually consider this a minimalist mat. Uh, it's just the, the bare minimum you know to get you out there, and it is inexpensive. So keep that in mind. Another thing to keep in mind is that it's not very warm. Uh, there's definitely an R value to it, um, but I don't know if I would consider this a winter mat. You would need to improvise something underneath it with pine boughs or leaves or something, and then I'm sure it would work fine. Um, so again, if you have any questions, put them down in the comments, do my best to answer them. Really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And if you like our videos, be sure to subscribe. There's new videos coming every week. We wanna see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.